Hi, my name is Rob van Hilton. I'm executive co-director of COIN, an Amsterdam-based NGO that specializes in um, uh, community currencies. The work that we do since 1993 is um, the search on how can you use money as a tool to change society. And we need, as a society, to go through a transformation. And um, when you change money, you change society. Over the last 20 years, we have been researching a vast amount of different currencies and actually try to understand how you could deploy them and use them and alter them to actually become a very powerful tool that changes society. What we learned is that in many theoretic ideas and economic books and all the different um, uh, um, idealistic models was that we didn't make a lot of impact. So in 2006, me and my business partner Edgar Kampers, we crossed the ocean and started um, working with the well commercial um, uh, retail bartering industry, which are um, uh, networks of business that trade amongst each other in their own currency. And what we actually learned is, is that although they do not necessarily have an understanding of what it means to try to change society, they do have operational programs that are profitable, that are sustainable in, in financial sense, and actually are helping to well, realize the goals that we were looking for. So COIN now is at the point that we have launched a program which is called TradeCoin, which really takes all the lessons that we as community currency activists um, uh, have and combine that with the lessons of the um, uh, commercial barter industry. And we try to build a nice marriage of different programs to well, come up with a very professional tool to help build regional societies. Very anxious the coming year because the, our network TradeCoin just launched in the Netherlands. The interest is very big, but it's still very, very young. So um, uh, we're learning a lot from Chong um, uh, in Bay Bucks and um, uh, from other people that are here in, uh, in, in, in Las Vegas, of all places, on the annual um, uh, Earth Convention. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah. So Rob, tell us, what have you done in terms of implementation of complementary currency? Um, over the last 20 years, we have been involved in... Well, I think I lost count, but we have built, we brought LEDs to continental Europe. We established NOPUS, which um, for long was the biggest um, LED system in the world even. Mm -hmm. It's based in Amsterdam, it still is, uh, is around. Um, we, a couple of years later, introduced New Sparpas, the, an incentive card um, roughly based on what Air Miles and Nectar and Kind programs are doing. And um, uh, um, uh, uh, we tweaked that to help consumers to go green. And that was um, uh, a good success, but we went through a bankruptcy, so the program stopped and we still want to relaunch it, but it didn't get that far yet. Um, we've been building Brixton Pound, we've been building Bristol Pound, um, we've been involved in the, the furthering of, the, uh, uh, um, of all kinds of programs in, in that domain. Um, we've been helping different bartering companies to get their assets sorted out. Um, we're working with a couple of banks to actually build regional economic programs. So it's quite a diversity of programs that we've been working on. Yeah, cool. And uh, Brixton Pound and Bristol Pound that you mentioned, are they joining this B2B barter exchange now? Um, that is the ambition. That is what we, um, what they want and that what we want. So um, uh, we're in, in, in the process now of, of, of exploring how that might work because Brixton Pound, of course, is a completely different model than a B2B barter. And we conceptually, we know how to do it. But as you know, there's the saying, in theory, practice and theory in the same in practice, they're not. So it's really now stumbling upon and trying to find models that actually really work. Yeah. So tell me what's your impression of coming here to Urta this time and seeing this nascent development of um, a, a nascent consciousness of combining complementary currency and social mission with a commercial barter exchange? Well, it's interesting what slowly is happening. Um, when, I, when Edgar and I um, started working with URDA seven years ago now, um, people thought that we made water burn. They held us for idiots and that our aim was not to get as rich as we could as soon as possible, made it really the laughing stick of the convention then. Well, the people in URDA are polite, so it wasn't public, but everybody thought it was quite weird. Where we now stand is, is that I am um, uh, uh, one of the board members of the global board of URDA, and um, our ideas are taken quite seriously. 
and we see that different programs are now approaching us, traditional bartering programs here in the United States, but also other places, that they actually want to work with us to better understand how they can transform themselves from a B2B currency into an actual community currency. Wonderful. That's so exciting. Isn't yeah, it? it's quite yeah. exciting. Too. So we are really starting at a, sitting here at the cusp of a new, perhaps, revolution. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for speaking. You're most here. welcome. Man.